and spit on that thing. I've seen a lot of conservatives and so-called Christians supporting that disgusting hawk to a hole. It's bad when the left does it, but y'all can do it and it's fine. I'm a Christian, but I bet they'll say that I am a threat. Conservatives out here acting no better than the left. They both sexualize everything. Is that your best attempt to beat the left at their own game? Boy, I wasn't impressed. Conservatives promoting sluts because they claim to be pro-Trump. Be modest. That's what's up. That hawk to a girl ain't one of us. That conservative calendar was straight up porn. You're not like us if you're a horse. Lady conservatives don't have support from me. Repent. You've been warned. The left does it. That ain't an excuse to claim God while showing your caboose. Say you're a Christian. I think that's a ruse. Dress modestly. Bible truth. I don't care what side you are on. Hell is real and it's hot. If they bring up that hawk to a girl, this is my response. Response. I'm a Christian, but I bet they'll say that I am a threat. Conservatives out here acting no better than the left. They both sexualize everything. Is that your best attempt to beat the left at their own game? Boy, I wasn't impressed. That's what I have to say about that hawk to a whore. And to that conservative calendar from a few months back. Oh, <laughs> Hello, hello. Hey. Hot. Two. Oh. Tiny, just the girl oh behind God. there. I'm sorry. I was just thinking in my head. I wonder Two where the girls seconds are. in. Literally, not even, <laughs> we haven't even started the intro. All we fucking did was say, hello. And you're already fucking getting distracted with the animals. Yeah, tell her, Timmy. <laughs> Shut up. God, I was it's just, it's like I was just wondering where they were. It's like, are we doing a up. or what? We are, but we also have we are podcasters who have animals that are really cute. Sometimes. You're podcasters with ADHD, and we need to rein that in sometimes and let it loose others. <sighs> yeah, she's fucking adorable. <laughs> what else is new? I love her. I wonder where Gigi is. <sighs> Hi, Tanji. She is? Yeah, she's in mom's room. Welcome to the podcast for another podcast for another week of podcast podcast. Yeah, some something like that. No! Uh, no! All right, Sarah. We're only five weeks late. What's your thoughts on Hawk to a girl? I don't know. I was really. I just don't really have any. It's kind of nothing. Yeah, it's like not funny. Um, if anything, it's just given men a reason to sexualize women even more. Oh, let me turn your gain up since you're gonna hold your mic. I'm. S- I'm sorry. <laughs> I was being. You know, sometimes I'd be loud. Sometimes I'd be so. Sometimes I be the hell. But yeah, no, it's just, it's not no, funny. I'm almost louder now. It's old. Yeah, no, I mean, you're... It was old the second it came out. Yeah, it's definitely nothing. A nothing burger. It's uh, A nothing burger is better than this. Mm, I would like a... I would rather have a, a no pizza left beef. Can you bring one home? No, you don't... <laughs> so you just want the no half? <laughs> Yeah. Or you're, are you just going to take the crust and kind of shake it off and shake off the beef? I mean, it really wouldn't take much. You just flip it over and every single piece comes off. <laughs> um, you have to embed the beef into the dough for it to work. But, um, well, no, I mean, it's just funny because the, the, the port, the part, the port, the port, the port, 
hot pot. <laughs> and that's an awfully hot coffee pot. Tonight will be the night that I will fall for you. Tonight will be the night that I will suck your dick. What? What? (laughs) Sam just sent a Fortnite leak. What is it? The first Fortnite festival season of 2025 will feature a female singer group. So far, the actual group is unknown, but the most popular would likely be Blackpink. Mmm. Hey, Tenji. And that, that name describes their pussies? <laughs> he had to insert that himself because no one thought that was funny. No one? Sounds like a lot of people find it funny. All right. Okay. Okay. All right, thank you. Thank you. We made our point. Um, <clears throat> that's cool. Um, anyways, no, I just I, I the the port that I wanted to focus on was uh, the the men the horny men, um, because I I like how like the the most normal take that I've heard from guys is like she's just really charming, and it's like is she. <laughs> No, when guys are trying to pretend like they're not horny for her, they say she's just really charming and funny and wholesome. (laughs) Maybe not wholesome. She's so innocent. She's so innocent, charming. Well, yeah, she's innocent because she looks like a 15 year old. Well, no Um, wonder they all want her. That's yeah, that was the joke. But um, like mom was telling me that she's got a bunch of customers at work. Oh, co- I was like, that- mom's talking to you about the Huktua girl. Yes. Oh, really? Ten like, th- not like she's like. Oh, have you heard of this meme? She's like, oh my god, have you heard of this meme? Like, like they're talking about it to her, and she's like, Zach, what the fuck is a Huktua girl? <laughs> Yeah, guys guys are just coming Stop. up to her at work and be like, Have you heard? Have you heard the good word? Have you heard? No, straight up. They're like, they're coming in merched out, like Stop. wearing hot to a twenty four merch. This is their this is their way this is society like the society <sighs> You got this girl. <laughs> Sorry guys. Master This of is the like English the societally language. acceptable way to like just outwardly talk to women about blowjobs without them being con- like immediately it's basically uncomfortable like, because they don't know what's going on it's it's basically like coming to the gas station and showing the gas station attendant your your favorite only fans model <laughs> well look she said she loves me look, she sent me look, xo look, hugs look, and kisses look, she knows how to suck dick look the guy she hired to text other guys uh said that that i have a nice dick <laughs> um Oh, that's oh my god. Um I hate people. Like I <laughs> literally fucking hate people because they're so what, excited about her. What, dude. Okay, but just in general, like what what gives you the thought? What gives you, what the, gives like, you the right? What gives you the right? What gives you the feeling inside to just go into any establishment and go up to someone who is literally paid to be there? And just talk to them about complete, utter fucking nonsense and waste their fucking time. Ma'am, have like, you heard of this I, goatsy girl? Oh, oh my she god. She is just so charming. <laughs> have you heard about two girls, one cup? <sighs> oh my god. These girls are a riot. <laughs> no, but yeah, they're just coming up to her and be like, Hi. have Have you heard? Or, or no, they'll be like, ah, hawk to her, right? Like, thinking she already knows. Like, you haven't heard of Hawk to a girl? Oh, like, my why are we God. just saying this to people? Because she's a sensation. She's the culture. She's literally, <laughs> she just spit on it. She just spit. But you gotta spit on that thing. I, I thought it was funny because, well, there's many things to find funny, but they're like, what move? The question was like, what move drives a guy crazy in bed? And she was uh! like, you gotta spit on that thing. 
That's not even a move. That's like a pre. That's something you just yeah, do before not, you yeah, do something. Yeah, that's just like a requirement to also, get it going. Also, you're basically saying if you don't have lube. I guess, what move? So. What what move in Put bed makes a guy go crazy? Yeah. Oral. <laughs> What's her yeah. answer? Oral. Uh. <laughs> Carl. Oral. <sighs> oh, Oral. <laughs> oral, no. <laughs> um. Yeah, I thought that was funny, but um, and also it, it reveals like how many how many people are getting dry jacked because they're excited by just the idea of it spitting on that thing. Maybe they're just using something else, or maybe maybe they're getting wet blowjobs, but they're just not getting the added the, the like hawk. sensory experience of, of the someone, hawk tua. of the hawk tua, because um, like no one fucking does that. I, I mean, like that. No, like the uh, actual. Like, oh no one. Ew! Because yeah, you get a Yeah, you get a loogie on your dick. No, I know everyone spits on it. Yeah, Zach. yeah. Every, every, know everyone, spits on it. every, every, I know everyone spits on it. I know your tea. You spit on that thing. Timmy, shut up! I think mom's here. Oh damn! It yeah, it's two thirty. Hey, hey! But yeah, li- listen, it's <laughs> it's covered ground. We have to change this, this subject because it's Everyone really coming out that I am it. not experienced in this department <laughs> by the things that I'm saying because I don't know what I'm talking about. But yeah, no, no, you do, you do. No one wants an actual yeah. hawk to it. That would be fucking disgusting. Like you can cut that part out though. No one needs to know about that. Yeah. Um. Drama. That I've never had sex. Oh. I fucked. <laughs> Believe me, I fucked. I just don't think men deserve pleasure. I fucked a girl. And I, uh, wait. I, uh, uh, I, I, okay. Okay. Anyways. Hi, Celia. You're so pretty. Um, You're so pretty. Dry Jack and <sighs> Everyone spits. No one wants a loogie on their dick. Um. Oh, and she got like, dude. She went on like. She went on Ellen. <laughs> no, sorry. No, Ellen's no, canceled. But she's being compared in some circles. Uh, people right now are talking sort of like about about like going famous for a viral moment, comparing her, Lily Gaddis, the the chick from the airplane. Oh. <sighs> so is Huck two other girl that's getting a comedy special? No. No, I know it's Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan. I know. I just yes. wanted to, I wanted to make a, a yoke. Yes, you made a yoke. Hey, mom. We're talking about your favorite uh, internet sensation right now. Oh no! <laughs> I'm trying to forget that. Oh, the way that she already knows. Hawk two. Hawk two. <laughs> yeah. That guy's a pervert. What so guy? Excited about it. My customer. Some come on, come on, mom, mom, mom. Since you're digging mom. the fucking ducking bag. Sorry. Yeah, talk to the mic. Yeah, I have this weird construction man. Oh, what? She's. She's... Yeah, weird construction man that comes in. He's a regular. He all showy with his bills. And then he mentioned about Tic Tac Hawk 2 girl, and I didn't know what the fuck he was talking about. I had to explain it to you. Yeah, and now that I know, now that I know, I, I think less of What was his behavior? Him. Was he, like, vibrating with excitement? Yeah. Like, I can't wait to show you my new, yeah. my favorite thing. Yeah, and I noticed thing. that he adjusts himself a lot, too. And I was like, I don't need to see that. I know, yeah. Oh he does God. it every day, just I'm telling Latino you. The Latino uncle himself. just stroking his his pecker through his jeans while talking pretty, about the Hawk 2 girl. I think he is packing, but still, I don't... I don't <laughs> I don't want to see you rubbing it, you know what I mean, or adjusting. But yeah, Hawk Two guy, I have no respect for him. Hawk, He's sick. Wait, no, no, no. We're just, <laughs> Hawk Two, Hawk Two, Hawk Two. We're not talking about the Hawk Two guy. We're talking about the Hawk Two girl. Well, the Hawk Two guy told me about the Hawk Two girl, and he likes the Hawk Two girl. All right. All right, that's enough for me. I Bye. I hawk I, I, I hawk to suck your cock. I hawk to suck your cock. Hi, Tanji. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Oh. Okay, we're gonna oh. we're gonna take a quick break.
just found out that Julia Fox is a lesbian. It's fucking F's in the chat. Uh, F's in the chat. I have no sound drop. Um, but she's, that's... It. Welcome back from the break. Welcome back Podcast. to... Um, we just found out Julia Fox is a lesbian. Well, I've known for a few days now. We are now. mourning. Um, I'm not mourning. We are I'm going celebrating. To jail. And um, also, it makes wow. sense because she was she's referenced in Brat um, in 360 when 365. There's 360 and 365. There's two different sides. I'm so sorry. And she's saying, "I'm everywhere. I'm so Julia." Uh, uh, uh. Uh, she's referencing Julia Fox because Julia Fox is everywhere. Sure, but how does that have anything to do with her being a lesbian? Um, well, because Brat is a symbol of pride, um, and Julia Fox is a lesbian. And this is uh, incredibly offensive. No, it's not. This is lore. This is this is canon. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I am not taking it lying down. I don't know how to do it. I will take it lying down. I do know how to do it. I'm not built to bend. I'm not. I'm built for war, motherfucker. I don't know how to do it. I'm built I to suck your dick. I'm built to suck your dick. This is a tragedy. I'll never be able to marry Julia Fox. Good. Why is that good? Because you have a very beautiful, lovely girlfriend. Oh, you're right. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Totally forgot about that part. Uh, I mean, within the bit. I, I know. Yeah. I know. But also, no. I'm sorry. Like, I love you. And I think you're an amazing person that's deserving of so much love. But uh, not from Julia Fox. That's fucked up. <laughs> now you guys are in so <laughs> What? <laughs> she was. She said she loved me and that I deserve love. Yeah. Just not. Just not from a lesbian. Not peak love. You don't deserve love from a lesbian. Why not? Because you're not a lesbian. Okay, but love is broad. Okay, then you deserve love from her in friendship form. Hmm. I will say that. Friendship with. No. Benefit. Zach. What? Lesbian. Contractual. Damn. He just threw your shit on the floor. Damn, Zach, what are you going to do? But maybe she's like one of those lesbians that will sometimes sleep with her guy no. friend. I, I don't think we should be having this conversation. <laughs> Because I can't say yes or no podcaster, because she's a podcaster. We're somebody. a podcaster. We should have Julia it's, Fox it's, on the it's, podcast. It's for it's it's neutral ground. Yeah. Speaking of which, Mom, though, look it up. Back to the uh, yeah. Back to the <laughs> you ho- will. What we were talking about the hawk to a girl. No, uh, we don't need to go I'm back like, to her. No, we were we were we we are talking about her right now. Okay. What we, we, what I was saying was you know people are talking about like. Uh, you know, people going famous for just like a sentence or like you know one moment. Um, I mean, they're Brittany Broski. Hot to a, I don't know what 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 was her moment. She's kombucha girl. Kombucha girl. Yes, she posted a TikTok where she tried kombucha for the first time, and it went viral. And her job, she got fired from her job for drinking kombucha because she went. She went deep throating it. She went no. She just went internet famous, like so quickly. Like it blew the fuck up, and there were so many memes and like people were contacting her work. Okay, is it crazy that I didn't know this was Brittany Roski? Yes, it is kind of crazy, (laughs) but uh, I mean, press play. This is iconic. So this is what made her famous. Mm -hmm. Just this. Yeah, was posted on TikTok. It really smells like a public restroom. Wow. Really? She wasn't like a vine person? It smells like a public mm-hmm. restroom! You know what? No. Well. <laughs> wow. Really, 
So anyway, so I was you guys. Sorry. Sorry. It's fine. It, it, that was funny. <laughs> you no, know, it's a it's a comedy podcast. Okay. Anyways, so what I was trying to say is, you got Hawk to a girl, Lily Gaddis, the the lady who had that freak out on the airplane. I like her. Oh. I don't, I don't, I don't have any opinions. So just go ahead. Because <laughs> I, first of all, I'm pretty sure she was just very like severely mentally ill. That's what I thought for a while, and, and she still was like kind of do think referencing something that literally like wasn't there. <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like she wasn't being so in my head. I'm like she wasn't being rude and aggressive towards a person. Nope. Based on their physical appearance or something like that. Something that they did. No. She's yelling at the air. <laughs> and it was funny. And I feel for her. Mm-hmm. Um, and I don't think she should be grouped in with a bunch of fucking crazy ass conservative women. Unless she, she been? is. Hawk to a girl is not conservative that we know of. She just has it. Yeah, I guess. Accent. Yeah, no, I'm just no. I'm thinking about Lily Gaddis more so. Right, but, but we're talking about yeah, different no, it. different I, situa- iterations yeah. of people going viral for mm-hmm. one sentence. We're yeah, not, it's true. We're not. We're not. Deleting, yeah, I know. We're not I don't know. Categorizing them beyond that. I don't know where I was going, but yeah, I just we, love her. And we have different examples. We have the. We have, you know, chaotic evil. Uh eh. Uh, maybe I don't think Lily is chaotic. What are the other categories in that? There's chaotic, lawful, lawful, unlawful. I don't know. It doesn't matter. We're not. We're not going to get into it. But anyways, all going famous for different types of moments for different reasons, reacting to their to their viral moments in different ways. But all of them going on a million different podcasts. The, the moment it happens, like Hawk to a girl went on like a discount, like Julia Fox, discount. call me daddy style podcast. It's like a 15 minute <laughs> podcast that took place in like a locker room somewhere. And it's naturally just, and it's just some it's locker room talk. Yeah. And it's just some girl podcaster. Girl and she's podcast. like, oh, my gosh, like you girl, you are so famous right now. What are you gonna do with about it? <laughs> and and um, um oh, but I'm sorry. Back to the airplane girl, really quick. She, like I said, okay. she also went on podcasts. Um, oh, and she ad- she admitted that there was nothing there, but she was trying to like pass it off as like mm, I'm I was just being quirky. Like, queen. she was basically like, I queen. never said that there was something there. Oh, queen. I she was, like, her. trying to focus in on, like, the specific language she used. That motherfucker's not real. Yeah. So she said she wasn't, like, she didn't actually see anybody. I I don't know. But I, I agree. I think she was definitely having, like, some sort of psychosis Can we or bring something. that up, actually? Get a little the refresh. Video? Okay. It reminds me of when Sam and I were playing um, Fortnite the other day, and we kept seeing this, like, uh, hooded, caped man, like, walk across our our screen, and he kept disappearing, and we were really confused. But then we saw um, a spray paint of him, so we know it's, like, an intentional thing within the game. And there's a reason why I'm getting the fuck from everyone! They neither believe it, or they cannot believe it! I don't give two f- but I am telling you right now, that motherfucker, that motherfucker back there is not it's real. Not real. I mean, and how how true she was. He wasn't real. <laughs> yeah, guys. That's so funny. She's like, guys, the person I'm hallucinating isn't real. So I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm sorry, Wouldn't you be like running the smartest because woman on earth? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I mean, she could have been a like a genius level mathematician. <laughs> if if God had not given her schizophrenia, yeah, she could she have been could a have, genius level. She could have been a genius level mathematician. Uh, um, but you know who couldn't be a genius level mathematician? Kim. 
Yes. Our, <laughs> our manager. Your manager. My manager. Bitch. Sorry. Uh, I, I just weird. meant. I, I, but anyways, <laughs> for, forget it. Okay. Um, Sorry. Call me daddy. Call me your daddy. No. Call me by your daddy. No. Um. Oh, yeah. But she's like, she's literally already got. <clears throat> what? I'm listening to you. God forbid I look at my phone. God does forbid it. Fuck off. I don't believe in God. Next question. But do you believe in... Podcast? Yes. Now, okay. say what you're going to fucking say. You're distracting yourself. Um. Right. She's already got, like, representation. A whole team. Like... Talk to a... Talk to a girl, yeah. Um, I hate her. No, I mean, you don't have to no, hate I know. her. I'm joking. But I mean, I'm sure we'll grow to hate her because if she does, if I, she does like the have a continued will, presence on the internet, will die out, dude. Okay, wait. Actually, can I, let me let me pull up the video because it's actually the video no. of her like announcing her social media career is so funny. Not everyone has the ability to shape a social media career off of a sentence like Brittany Broski can. And we're really seeing how true that is because Lily is flailing like just just like a puppy trying to swim for the first time she's just paddling water desperately trying to cling on to her 15 seconds Mm -hmm. tweeting slurs all day long fucking so thirsty she accidentally retweeted the podcast for like half an hour sending her fans to our youtube channel before realizing that we were making fun of her. I don't know how she didn't realize it instantly because the tweet she retweeted was village idiot Lily Gaddis. Don't know what the yeah. fuck she thought that was about, but um yeah, I mean dude, the desperation in her voice when when she first got interviewed like, yeah, you know, I'm 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 going to I'm going to take take of this what which is she said I'm going to instead of make of it, I'm going to I'm going to make what I can. I'm going to take what I can of it. And you know, I don't really like I don't really like the nine to five. So it would be great if I could, you know, get some sort of yeah, but job who out does? of this. But it's just it's so funny. Like, yes, every single person in this country is trying to not have a job and trying to uh, have some sort of social media career. Uh, but just like to be so transparent, it's I it's a fucking exaggeration. It's an yeah yeah you're ridiculous. Um, so that I can have time to do everything. Uh, but just like to be so like openly gay, uh, like desperate to be like, yeah, I'm just, I'm just really trying to turn this into something for me because I, I just, I just really want clout so bad. Please give me it's clout. Like when the more desperate you are for it, the less likely you are to get it. Yes, and people can see that and they can smell it. And they can taste it, and they can um, hear it, and mm-hmm. they and and they don't like it. Even the and, desire, and attack you. Like, the desire of wanting it, even like it's Brit- gross. Well, no, I'm just saying that will it won't launch you. You know, mm. I'm I'm just gonna keep bringing us back to our control group of Brittany Broski, um, because it was more so that she just kind of went with it because she didn't have another choice because. It, her internet fame literally got her fired from her job. Mm. Like, they didn't like... Whereas Hawk to a girl quit her job the moment she hit a million views. Exactly. It's like, she... Not that Her she, job at the Spring Factory, dude. She's got the I most, mean, like, southern... Spring. Southern austerity job I could think of. The Spring Factory. So, Brittany worked at a bank. She didn't necessarily like it. Yeah. But she slayed. And... But because of her internet fame, people obviously found out where she worked, and it started creating like, for the banks, in mm-hmm. banks' words, you know, a bad image because you know she yeah. was famous and Sounds she worked familiar. there, so they let her go. Yeah. So then she was yeah. like, "Well, fuck it. I mean, people think I'm funny. I'll just, you know, try." <laughs> and she did. And she did. And she slayed. And she fucking met. She's met Harry Styles. She's met fucking Beyonce. Hey, all some things that like, have changed my life so far. Since not all that that means happened. that she's successful. One, I got over my stage fright. Because she could be um, dead I broke. I sang in front of eighty thousand people with Zach Bryan the other night, and I cannot sing for. Sh- 
but I did it anyway. Number two, I quit my job at the Spring Factory, and so I don't have to eat Taco Bell all the time, but I'm still going to do it anyways. Number three, I actually clean. have to get ready more than one time out of the yeah, week. Yeah, you now. too. You still are poor. <laughs> she's choosing to continue eating like shit, even though she's made it, quote unquote. No, I'm not allowed not to you like too. Adam Sandler anymore. Well, it's not all delightful. Here are three things that have not been so great here lately. I'm still broke. Number one, I have to convince my pawpaw not to shoot the my paparazzi pawpaw. outside of our house every day. Because they've been camped out here for like two weeks. The paparazzi. Number two. They've stop. been camped out here for hawk two weeks. <laughs> Asking me for the link in bio for my OnlyFans. I don't have an OnlyFans and there will never be an OnlyFans. I just, I just make funny jokes. We're going to hold you to that. The countdown begins. Because, sweetie, you're not going to make money off of, That's all of I one do. sentence. And number three, I'm tired of the imposters and all the fake Okay, I mean, well. Hey, there's one more thing that's really pissing me off. Any of you selling or purchasing merchandise? Very awesome thing. Okay, well, I've cut off, but people were saying she made like 60 grand off of merch, but according to her, she hasn't made a dime, and that was all someone else. So. Damn. You may be more right than you are. Um. But that I wanted to see the whole video because, like, she she talks about, like, her plan and how she's going to have a show. And she's like, I'm just here to tell jokes. Like, you don't when, tell jokes. When are you, you going to start? I've yet to hear a joke. Uh, women aren't funny, guys. Stop <laughs> it. <laughs> you want to go that way? I'm kidding. We can, we can do some all men stuff. Some all men? All men are funny. No, men in cages, twenty twenty. Bring that shit back. Men It'll in cages, twenty twenty four. No, put you in the cage that turns loose. And sorry, we just we started. Oh we put my the God. now sorry. you're holding it up to your we mouth. We put the boys on at work the other day, like season one, episode oh one. God. What? I'm I just, not here now. Okay, I know. It's just because I was doing that to be a bitch. You didn't have to adjust because I was going to bring it back out here. Oh. Okay. Um. Anyways, bitch. But I mean, uh... Dennis Dinosaur train. Forty-six seconds. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why? Oh my god. Did you see the uh, thing on the Joe Rogan? Uh, because. Hawk spit on that thing. Hawk Tui! Did you see the, uh, uh, you got a Hawk Tui spit on that thing? It's Yo, massive. She's right? famous girl, now. That girl, one video. Have you seen it, Brian? Yeah. Hawk one, Tui. One girl gets interviewed. <laughs> and it's just, what did he say? Hawk like, Tui. One weird video. It's so funny <laughs> that the whole world sees it. She's the most famous person Jamie? on the planet did, did, right if, now. If, so the, the one I saw on Instagram, the, the top comment underneath it is, a, is another woman being like, Nobody needs you. Don't have to spit on it, and then it, and it's just a thousand news. It's like somebody taught you wrong, bitch. People are telling you the truth. <laughs> spit on it. Especially the way she says it, like that it's lady. So good. She's not. She's not yeah. pretending. She said no. like she. Like she passed. That was not pretending. Posing. That lady's but also, a black also, spitting on dicks. I wouldn't be that into a girl going. <laughs> I would be into her. <laughs> yeah. The way yeah, with her cool. enthusiasm. Yeah. yeah, you would. There's if some she real did passion it. there. But if, yeah. you hear, if you hear if you hear a girl go, oh, you're not gonna be like, wait, dude. She's just a white bitch. She's literally just a regular white girl. Oh, dude, you like it if she did it. Oh, uh, dude, if she did it, oh. Wait a minute. Hold on. You would if she did it. But if, yeah. you, if you hear if you hear a girl go, oh, you're not gonna be like, wait a minute. Hold on. Hey, Let's hey, see hey. it, Jamie. I can't wait for Didn't the day Joe gets divorced. What, the memes of it? Or what, 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 the original one has how many views now? Uh, has to be 100 million. At least. How, I wonder how I she wonder monetizes that. I wonder what she's that. doing. She's That's probably be, panicking. Yeah, I, I know. Be tough. Dude, no, everybody knows. She's making money. No. Is she? Oh, yeah, yeah, she's yeah. making money. There's yeah, yeah, merch yeah. now. Yeah. There's like Hawk 2 yeah. merch. Yeah. Oh, I need to buy a shirt. Yeah, bro. These kids, man, they on that. They on that social media. He's so cute. Oh, I need to buy a shirt. Yeah. Women supporting yeah. women. Look at her. She's signing fucking hats. Only in America. <laughs> Only in America. She's selling fucking hats. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> uh, 
That is hilarious. Let's hear the video. That's uh, fucking. Hilarious. It's just the way she oh, says right it. Up there, right up there in the corner. Talk yeah. The yeah no, oh, I know. I know. These are. I already clicked two of them, and they didn't have the video on it for some reason. Christ! What a weird. What a world. What a fucking world. This is and what a weird. Been like four this days, is a great right? clip to just out? completely yeah, well, cut out. Honestly, it happened fast. I mean, so. where are the who dudes? is the hawk to a girl Max. taking over TikTok? Because it, it wasn't her original. <laughs> or hit, or you can be funny. No, on Joe's Over. part. No, I know. I know. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm like, it's just nothing. Oh, you mean from his podcast? Yeah. It's just like, you guys can't find oh, the no. video. No cuts. Four hours. You all banger. You can't find it. And you're just like, uh, uh, uh. And it's like, oh, weird. Uh, uh. Yeah, she was doing just, an interview, dude, right? No yeah, one, some guy I'm the only one who, who listens to this podcast that actually, like, pays attention and tries to, like, I don't want to say learn something, because no. <laughs> but, like, absorb it. Everyone else is just... Trans bad! Stop. Oh, wait. <laughs> They're just, I that... wish the podcast could have seen that. <laughs> like, the visual... What? Describe it. Well, you're hunched over. <laughs> um, and like the way that you're breathing is obviously moving your stomach in and out. <laughs> and you have put your jaw out so that you look like a fucking ape. Mm-hmm. Like Neanderthal vibe. And just... <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah. He says, "What do you have to do to make a guy crazy in bed?" <laughs> you gotta play Joe Rogan experience. <laughs> Once upon a time, two girls were out on the town in Nashville, Tennessee, when a saw that thing. No, 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 don't fast forward. To which one woman replied, "Ah, oh, you gotta give him that uh, hook too and spit on that thing." <laughs> you do. You get me. You get me. <laughs> I wonder what. Look her, at her laughing. Yeah, like, she's, she's laughing she's so cool. hard. I wonder if her dad's like, "What?" The <laughs> she's fuck? cool. I I I ask her to walk me to my truck. <laughs> Sorry, it's a inside joke. Yeah. Fuck. <sighs> like imagine being her dad right yeah, now. Yeah, but her college is probably paid for now. Nah, her dad knows. Yeah, I wonder how much money she's making off of this. Hopefully, a lot. It is smart that she jumped right on it because you got to think it's only been a few days. I know. Oh, someone blew Dude, her it's up. It's been yeah. eight months, man. At this point. Okay, well, that, that that didn't give us much, but. <sighs> All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Plan Free Uncut. I have someone that was harder to track down than Osama bin Laden. We have the hook tour girl, Haley here. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. This is your first podcast ever, first anything ever. Yes, ma'am. Oh my gosh, how do you feel? Are you nervous? I'm a little nervous. She's a little <laughs> nervous. She was scared coming in, but she wanted to come on a podcast that was with a woman first. So I'm like so grateful it was me and that you chose to come on this one. Yes, ma'am. We have a lot to like get into. Everyone has been searching for you. I feel like there's been millions of fake accounts that I fell for because I was trying to find you like two weeks oh, ago. Yeah. <laughs> so they're everywhere. And then... There was like an account of your merch, but it wasn't, it was like you signing hats. Is that your account? Well, it's not really my account, but the guy that I let do hats for me, he was kind enough to ask if he could sell them like in my hometown. And so I was okay with it. Okay. He was kind enough to ask and he's just been great to me. He's absolutely great. I've known him for years and he split all what he's made off of it with me and he's just went out of his way just be good to me so he's been really okay so that's a it. good guy because i know there's oh, a yeah. lot of people stealing your merch and making money oh, yeah. off of you now but he's good as gold okay. i couldn't ask for better amazing but did you delete all of your social he's media okay so i deleted all my social media like six months ago due to like personal reasons i never really got on it or anything like that oh okay but so it didn't have anything to do with this? Oh, no. I was long gone before that. Oh, so you were, you were already gone from social oh, media. Yeah. And everyone thought that oh, you deleted yeah. your social media because you were, like, scared of all of this blowing up. But you were yeah. gone. I've been gone from it. So like, are, just are you going to come back? Purpose. I think we're working on that right now. Because <laughs> you but. have a full management a manager now oh, you have yeah. a shooter she comes in with like, just like i know we've spent a lot of time this episode talking about her but i just yeah. cannot imagine like i i need to have the hawk to a girl on and we need to we need to get to know her genuinely 
You know, it'd be really funny if she did the interview like Cole Sprouse did. Call your daddy. Like she was just completely like pretentious and full of herself, and like doesn't even have the southern accent anymore. Like that's all a bit. Oh my god. You know, people get uh, people get so bent out of shape if mm-hmm. you smoke a cigarette, but like weed's okay. Yeah. Huh? You just, fucking loser. I've just, you know, I've heard of the things. We're really, we're really reaching back. Sorry, I have to up and keep, uh, catch Lore up. Lore update. Have you ever been cheated on? Yeah, by almost every single one of my girlfriends. Oh. <laughs> Emotionally, yes. Wow. Very, very much. And my Shut first girlfriend uh, physically, yeah. How do you find out about the emotional cheating? Like everyone does, huh? Texting. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Cool. I will say the current relationship I am. What does it even in... mean? You found out like everyone does texting. I get the cheating was happening on texting, but how did you find out? You went you went through someone's phone. Has woke me up. Woke to what real compatibility and trust looks like. Mm. In a way that I have never had before. I was also younger and stupid, and not not the greatest partner either. Like I I, I was no saint. I mean, I he was, was going through boy. my own f-ing traumas and f-ing oh, trying to reconcile that as a young twenty what did he something. Say? Potty now, mouth. This is the first. Real- he said I was going through my own fucking shit. <laughs> he said I was fucked up and going through shit or something. Oh. Relationship where where I can say, damn, like I I have real trust here. Have you ever Damn. been cheated? Oh. What is up, Daddy Gang? It Wait. is your founding father, Alex Cooper, with Call Her Daddy. Daddy, Daddy. Ew, your founding father. Cole Sprouse. Yes. Welcome to Call Her Daddy. This Thank is you really for the me. full episode. Considering no way. how private you are, I'm so happy that you're here because I'm excited for people to get to know you a little bit better. Maybe even have you talk about some things that you've never talked about before. Sure, let's okay. go. Okay, let's get into it. No, I, I, I will say um, I really like how conversational your podcast is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, think that, I think that that's missing a lot from the publicity space, that mm. there's like this curation that I believe uh, does a tremendous disservice to actual guests on something. And, and the conversational nature of just the podcast space in general, but particularly yours is really refreshing my publicists are obviously not here cole showed up alone they they rarely they know that they have very very little control over the lunacy that Uh that whatever happens on on set so they're like okay dude he's just gonna be this whirling dervish we might as well just let him go whirling dervish i've had people show up here with 20 people and then i've had people like you that show up alone this is what i prefer i show up to a lot of things alone were you like nervous showing up here at all? Um, I was nervous because my girlfriend was like, "Hey, this is this, she's gonna pepper you with some really interesting questions." But that's kind of it. Shout out to Cole's girlfriend. We love you for giving him a little bit of a taste of what he's about to get on Call Her Daddy. Okay, so let's get Who into it. Let's go back to kind of the beginning. Time. You and Italy? your twin brother Dylan were born in Italy. Know. Yes. Why were your huh? The bitch from the bitch from Riverdale. I dude. Okay, well, what year is this? The only thing I know of, uh, about Cole Sprouse in the last few years is this. What year is this? Uh, 2023? 2022? 2023. Why does it say full episode? There's no fucking way. Well, I'm going to the actual podcast. Yeah, March of 2023. Oh, he went on Brittany Broski. Yeah, I know. I watched it. It's oh. really good. Zach and Cody, you may remember the twins from the good old 2000s. Why, oh, why was I cursed with these devastating good looks? <laughs> Imagine how hard it is to be the handsome twin. Yeah, they were really so well loved and successful during their Nickelodeon days, but it may not have been as innocent and happy as it seemed. Child star manager Josh Workman will be sentenced on April 2nd. Were the stars affected? Where are they now? Do you ever go back and watch old episodes of The Sweet Life? Uh, when I'm drunk or feeling really narcissistic, yeah. The twins are in and out of the industry. 
in venturing into their own life goals. But one of the twins is getting into their own drama. His ex-girlfriend spoke about it on her Tumblr. One of them even has serious allegations against him after an alleged party. I never told anyone because who would believe me over a rich Disney star? These childhood favorites came back for an encore performance. But will the next stage of their career be met with the same buzz? Let's dive into the story of Dylan and Cole Sprouse. It was August 4th, 1992, when two okay, American... Okay, well, this is obviously not... <laughs> Did you find what you're looking for? Yeah. The fantastic. <laughs> Oh, what kind of geography video did you put on? I didn't. Shut okay. up. Oh, my fucking Sorry. God. What is up, Dad? Okay, so let's get into it. Let's go back to kind of the beginning. You and your twin brother, Dylan, were born in Italy. Yes. Why were your oh my parents God, the in very Italy, beginning. and when did you move to the United States? Uh, my parents were teaching out there at the time. They were part of this school slash cult. I can't really figure out what it was. Um, but was homeschooled which is great because to be honest i did not feel like i missed out on much everyone that talks to me about their high school experience i was like this sounds f***ing horrible it wasn't great it wasn't yeah. great cole but i'm wondering do you remember when you were in elementary school like how did people treat you because i know you weren't famous famous but like mm -hmm. big daddy you were what five yeah six and when we were kids i don't think they really cared Actually, too much six, some of them bitch. knew that we were actors but <laughs> dylan and i uh dylan specifically was a huge bully so <laughs> our navigation through elementary school and middle school we were like fucking dicks <laughs> what? What? our what? navigation what? we were like uh, fucking you dicks <laughs> you beat him up and then i became known as the twin that would come up and be like i'm so sorry for my brother Wait, I kind I of feel like that was your character also yeah. on um, Zach and Cody. And then, well, I think I think the writers on Zach and Cody took a lot of cues from uh, from <laughs> you know our actual so personalities. Now, by but, the way, um, she gets yeah. sixty million dollars for this. Tell Antif I'm ready. <laughs> Give me the balaclava. I'm kind of ready to go full tanky because yeah. that sixty million. No, that's crazy. To be like she's sitting there in in claw. What what is she in those? What are those shoes that Mario Batali used to wear before right. he... Crocs. Crocs. She's before sitting there Crocs. Before he raped. Crocs smoking a cigarette. And she's like, so tell me about your brother. And he's like, he was a bully when he was six. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, imagine getting beaten up by a child actor. Imagine getting and beaten six. by a Sprouse. <laughs> by Cole Sprouse when they were young. By the way, Mario Batali. That could be the spin, the, the sequel to the... Uh, Here's the thing about Mario Batali. You could, pull, you could crush Mario Batali's... In life story. Now, <laughs> Mario Batali. Oh my God, Tim could play him. The biopic. By the way, that, our friendship is... would end so quickly because we'd both be reading for that role. Yeah. <laughs> Every fat comic in a minute, we'd be just sitting there and they'd be like, okay, and can you imagine that horrible script? Because by the way, not a feature. We're talking like a no. lifetime movie. Lifetime, yeah. Lifetime yeah. movie of the week. And like, literally, they'd be like, because when you go do these auditions, you like slate. You say uh, your name mm -hmm. and where you live, you know, and, and, uh, you, and slay. you see it be like, uh, Tim Dillon, Stavros Halkias, New York, whatever. Yeah. And then you go, and then you have to read the lines, you know, and then you'd be like, you like these clams? <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey. You like working here? I put my whole life into this goddamn restaurant. <laughs> the, least thing, the, last thing, the least you could do is look at me. Look at me. Yeah. Look at me. You want me to show you how to make this dish? That's called tagliatelle. You want to show you? Come here. What's wrong? <laughs> What's Christ. wrong? I don't understand. I thought you liked working I here. I thought you liked it. They got tagliatelle in Indiana? Yeah. Let me teach you something. I thought you liked it. <laughs> Your gnocchi has to be done just right. <laughs> Get over here. Get over like, here. <laughs> you bitch. So Mario Batali, did he rape somebody? Yeah, in Crocs. <laughs> I'm sorry. He did rape in Crocs. <laughs> For the crime of rape in Crocs. I need to know. I, I sent it to know. you, Mario I to, Batali. I need to read Wikipedia Today. right now. <laughs> Today, by Alfredo's house. Is he alive? Yeah, unfortunately. He was sentenced <gasps> to death. What? <laughs> what? 
Just the picture or no, what? No, look at his... September 19th, 1960, Sarah shares her birthday with Mario Vitale. No! A white man? No! Oh, that Wait, was he awesome. stole a wife what after he raped somebody? We're doing. What? <laughs> yeah, they, they technically cannot take your wife away from you. <laughs> <laughs> I, that's not what I mean. <sighs> Unfortunately, we do not live. We live in a rape culture where your wife is not taken from you when you're. Uh, was he convicted? I don't know. I haven't gotten there. Well, I just want to know because if he hasn't been convicted yet, maybe there's still time for her to be taken away. For her to be um, confiscated? <laughs> no, I mean, why hasn't she fucking left his ass? Oh, I don't know. I mean, okay, I have to read his Wikipedia so now. With these types of things, and now Sarah's gonna read Wikipedia. So, ay, ay, ay. don't we own his? Um... We own his ass. Well, yes, but. Uh, I think we have like a cookbook. No, like he made stuff with. <laughs> he, made stuff. he made stuff with. Um, with Willow House. Oh, so you're saying we have like dishes or something? I think. Yeah. Hold on, but our oh. mom worked for a multi-level yeah. marketing scheme that had a Mario Batali line of cookware. I think that's what Timmy eats out of. <laughs> Dude, the bubble the bubble plates. Those ceramic plates with the bubble edges that, that we broke so many Red? of. Red? No, like oh. beige. You oh, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. The main think, dishes. I think those are, are oh. part of the Batali mm, line. No. no, I think it was the... No, no, no. Okay. Those are Willow House as well. I guess I'll just go fuck the... myself then. <laughs> How about that? What if I just went and fucked myself, Sarah? Would that make it better? <laughs> okay. So, um, sorry, no, I'm reading about the sexual misconduct. In the arms of hell. He sold all of his restaurant holdings. In the arms of hell. Um, I don't think. So, he was acquitted? If the. If the glove, and by glove I mean condom, does not fit, you must acquit. I'm so sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so he was acquitted and therefore they could not confiscate his wife. But um, he had to pay $600,000 to more than 20 former employees. Whoa, 20? Uh, okay, how much? More than twenty former employees, men and women of How three much restaurants. money? Six hundred thousand. Split up? I don't know, I guess. Probably, probably. Yeah. I don't think he was that rich. Um yeah, he wore crocs for Christ's sake. Uh, oh. Sorry, no. Breaking news. The thing he was acquitted of was a different charge. So in May twenty nineteen, Vitali was charged with indecent assault and battery in Boston. If you're gonna assault someone, uh, at least have in some court, decency. the accuser alleged that Batali had groped her in, in an April 2017 at a bar in Boston. Batali pleaded not guilty. Okay, so he was acquitted of that. Um, because apparently the accuser had credibility issues and was motivated by financial gain to make her accusation. Ah. Uh. Whatever. Beyond May of 2018, he had more accusations. And he knew what to do with it. No, wait. So it started in 2017. Wow, me too. Uh, Remember me In 2019, too. New York City police declined to charge Batali over two alleged sexual Was assaults in his New York City restaurants due to insufficient evidence. The so they never did anything. Because he's... Because everybody sucks. Um... Yeah, but he's not, like, famous anymore. I mean, he's famous, but he's not, like, doing shit, I don't think. Mm -hmm. He's not working, is what I'm saying. Does anybody here remember Mario Vitale? Does anybody here remember Vera? 
trying to see if I could find anything about the, the cookware. Man, that's going to be stuck in my head if I don't play it right now. Italian Stitch by Mario Patelli. The husband Stitch. The individual handled soup. Was a mistake in the medical community. We should not continue to make. But yeah. Wow. That's what Timmy eats out of. Me too. We should throw away his. Di- no, I'm kidding. Timmy eats out of a rapist dish. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so we got, we got, we got Hawk to a girl covered. We got Cole Sprouse covered. There's only one thing really left to talk about, Sarah. <laughs> Did you just text that to the family group chat? Yeah. <laughs> It's funny. <laughs> I bet you a hundred thousand dollars mom does not know that Mario Vitelli is a sexual it's, assaulter. Yeah. Especially in Crocs. The sexual assault bay. Um huh? sorry. I have to pee again, but <clears throat> Go piss girl. Oh hi Tim. I thought we could um talk about what we really came here to talk about today. Mm, senior de- oh my god so we went to a concert and there was this guy start by saying we went to a concert tell a proper story you literally just told All me all I said was I said don't like say I said be vague as in don't say what concert we were at but tell a proper story so I we, forgot to critique your ass after so, your last episode, dude. So we went to a concert. You need to speak in full sentences and describe <laughs> things. When what I asked you to introduce the show last week, you went, <laughs> Hi, I'm Sarah, and... And you made them introduce themselves. <laughs> and then, when I asked you to describe what, what you were leaving the podcast to do, you said, I'm going to see Mexican. <laughs> Your point. <laughs> I made my point. I'm perfect. <laughs> so, um <clears throat> Me and Sarah went to, uh, uh, mm. me and Sarah and the lovely Elizabeth. So we went to a concert. We went to a concert the other night. And we were treated to a once in a lifetime experience. Um, how, how, how should we describe what, what we witnessed? Um, beautiful. <laughs> One of a kind. Slightly uncomfortable. The most intimate thing I've ever been a part of. Yes. Um, a very... A very... Um, artistic man. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. Because uh, he is very artistic, but he's also maybe autistic. Yes, maybe for sure. Um, we, God, 
We just, it was just, it was, well, okay. So for, <laughs> I'm certain that this is not the case because we, of how long he's been making music. Uh, and also we know this is at least his fourth show, <laughs> but like the energy of I've never performed live, but not like, not his performance, but just like everything outside of his, perf- like not his actual singing, but like just his presence was mm-hmm. this is my first time on stage and I'm going to die. <laughs> um, there were times where, where, uh, okay, wait, let's, we have to, we have to really paint a picture here. So look up the lead singer from the band live. That's what this guy looks like. Or just like Dominic Toretto, like a Dominic Toretto style guy, like wife beater jeans comes on stage dude when 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 before you the show started it, like that. it was dress pants and a black wife beater it was very simple but mm. it was very like artist okay but like not like i, I agree wife beater and jeans i agree sounds like i agree but like also like he was like again he was like bald and like like slightly muscular yeah and like gro- like it just it even though yes okay it was dominic toretto but like it's it's Vin Diesel in Fast and Furious. Family, 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 family. family, family it's that. Family. It's that. But like, okay, it's like okay, Dominic Toretto at like a black tie event. He's not in a suit, but he's got dress pants and a black wife beater. Was it a black black yeah black wife, wife beater? Wife so a dress wife beater. Dressy wife beater. A, a, a formal wife a beater. A formal formal wife beater. Uh, <laughs> Uh, hi, uh, Cole Sprouse, formal wife beater. I can't shake your hand. It's okay. You don't have I'm to. My, look it's at the way I'm holding my mic. Yeah, you're holding it like a... First of all, no one can hear you. <laughs> Sorry. Second look of all... Look at the way I'm holding my mic. Yeah, you're doing it like the meme with holding the champagne glass. It hurts. <laughs> Stop doing it. Um, basically, okay, so man was like... Okay, so you mentioned that he was stimming. So, like, he was, he was like... Like he was holding the microphone, and his, <laughs> his other, other hand, hand was bald in a fist, and he was just pumping his hands <laughs> constantly the entire time. <laughs> I'm sorry, so, and I it was it. it was stimming, but <laughs> also I think it was ha- it was also him. He, that was how he kept on beat. Okay. I think he was counting, which also very is very is a very autistic way to stay on beat. Um, and yeah, just like the most one of the most powerful vocalists I've ever. <laughs> <laughs> I've ever witnessed. Holy um, shit! Like it, all of his songs were like ballads. They, yes, they were all ballads, but they were all I don't want to say power ballads because that evokes like a like a like a eighties rock kind of sound. But it was like they it was like oh, God. All of his songs were like choruses of Creed songs. <laughs> you know. Okay. They were they were just they were epic, they were very epic style epic ballad epic ballads they were epic ballads. Okay. Like, you know, just pro- brother. <laughs> Sorry. Christ, what did you say? <laughs> I wasn't. I was only like right here. <laughs> it was crazy. It was crazy. What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> brother anyways brother brother this is a song about <laughs> family this is a song is called brother and it's about family no brother was about friendship <laughs> the song is brother the song is called brother and it's vision about was about family the song- okay now we're after bleep so much. sorry <laughs> um but yeah, no, I mean, he was so dude, that's so vague. He, no, the specific songs and how he introduces them. Yes, but you can't Google that and figure it out. You're probably right. I don't need to test it live on the show. It, as long as we just bleep his name. Yeah. Anyway, so so he's pumping his 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 fists, Mike and Bear Fist, and just like just staring through your eyes 
back to your asshole, like just all the way through you. And he was, I mean, he made, he made sure to make eye contact with every single soul. I mean, he was just scanning the fucking room the entire time, just finding someone to lock eyes with. Just, yeah. Just like having, having the most intimate moments with everyone. I mean, it, 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 again, this was, I mean, it was, it's clearly, as you can tell, indescribable what we went through. Um, yeah. From autism to autism. <laughs> it was... Autism speaks and it's happening right now. Um. Yeah, just epic, epic ballads, um, immaculate vibes, but also uncomfortable vibes. But I think it's because we're just uncomfortable with like being genuine. Yeah, like honest, real as fuck. Like, dude, yeah, it was just the realest thing I've ever been a part of in my like irony poisoned ass was just like i had to just like hold myself back from like cringing and and giggling the whole time but like why it it was like he was a good singer i think it's just because he's he's different it's not how you what you would typically see when you art should make you uncomfortable but no seriously Art should make you uncomfortable. Yeah. And that's why I said as much as it was beautiful and amazing and intimate to see, it was mm-hmm. also slightly uncomfortable. Yeah. Because that's... But I wouldn't trade it for anything. No, absolutely not, dude. That was an amazing fucking experience. And, and that guy is oh insanely God. talented. And then, and also the way, like, the way it felt... <sighs> it felt like we were getting, like, a joke was being pulled on us. Because then, like, the band... When the band was, like, thanking the openers, and it was like, oh, and, you know, it's it's amazing every single time. It's life change. Like, they were, literally, like, glazing him up so much. It's like, who is this guy? <laughs> you said glazing him up. Yeah? I kn- I'm sorry. We just had... What the fuck is wrong with you? We had an entire conversation in our pre-shift meeting at work yesterday, like... We had a, our pre shift meeting was fifteen minutes long because half of it we spent talking about glazing. Uh huh. Because half of us didn't know what it was. Oh. And, Vernacular update. And I mean, the, what we knew of is of in the sexual way of glazing somebody. Mm. So when mm-hmm. we started talking about this, it was a whole discourse, and it was amazing. And I loved that I was getting paid for it. Um. It was beautiful and an amazing experience, and I love my coworkers. Um. When I had to explain what "gyat" meant to me yesterday to my friend Aaron, <laughs> what does "gyat" mean to you what does exactly? Gyat mean to you? I wow. almost and that see. Then we we were just we started talking about things and having out saying definitions and like just words not meaning things. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I said, "So can anyone define skibbity?" Nobody yeah. could. Nobody could. I couldn't. Yeah. Skibbity is a vibe. It's a moment. It's a feeling. It's... What is this? What? What? What is this? I don't know. Okay. Um. Yeah, no. I mean, that's nonsense. Oh, what, what if oh, I do... Shit. What? Uh, no, I'm just thinking about the emissions test. <laughs> Skibbity definition. Today.com so that boomers <laughs> can know what it means. <laughs> Urban dictionary. Now that's what I'm looking for. Skibbity is a word usually used to start a convo, specifically a convo filled with brain rot. It's a fucking salutation. <laughs> <laughs> Skibbity is how you open a letter. Skibbity, my darling. (laughs) I hope this letter finds you in good good tithings. My gyat has fallen ill (laughs) with consumption. (laughs) All of my sigmas are down for the count. We have left Ohio penniless and poor. Don't worry, my bruh. I'll get you out of Ohio with my one-two buckle my shoe type riz while we bust it down sexual style. <laughs> Wait, Sarah. <laughs> the 
listen to this fucking example conversation of Skibbity. Okay. Skibbity! As, you know, the opener, naturally. And then Sarah. I'm sorry. Yes. I can't imagine this. I don't care. It's not the fucking time. <laughs> it's our day off. The conversation. Okay, keep talking. Someone opens a conversation with Skibbity. And then the next person says, don't worry, my bra. I'll get you out of Ohio with my one-two buckle my shoe type riz. Zach, I don't we, need, I'm not going to read we, ahead. While we bust it down sexual style. And then the person responds, kill yourself. Which is the natural and correct response, of course. Yeah. Um, I still don't if, understand. This is supposed get to be the skibbity ex- mug. This is supposed to be an example of it's using skibbity stuck. in a conversation. It's really funny because we were also talking about Urban Dictionary with in our this board. Meeting. Yeah. And how I literally made a joke. I'm just like, it's such a beautiful place. Roll into one. Like, you can get a definition and then you can buy the mug for the word. And it's literally, get the fucking skibbity mug. <laughs> skibbity, a word used by gamers who are on YouTube shorts every day and are on a 3,000 day streak of being virgin. This word is this word is this word is this word is used when the gamer wants to be funny and tries to say someone else's joke louder than them. <laughs> okay, we are learning. Anyways, um, so I I think skibbity toilet, skibbity doo um, swing low, sweet skibbity. Coming, coming low to carry my yacht. And she's back on her phone, ladies and gentlemen. I will throw this at your jug. No, and no, don't <laughs> reference my genitalia. <laughs> Anyways, um, I think, Bitch. I think we've probably recorded enough. Really? I think so. Oh my god. It's just sorry. It's just more like it's gone by so fast. And I and that's because we're having fun. Exactly. So you should like let me live. In honor of Mr. Dev just name dropping him completely. I already did that before. I know, but you're and just giving yourself more work. Yes, but honestly, it's I think that's the sev- second or third time I've said it. It's not that big of a deal. The the Xavier o- o- the Xavier O'Brien uh, bleeping bit was way more involved than this is going to be. But, um, <clears throat> so I'm going to give everyone sort of like a taste. What's wrong? Fucking Drew of Wallow. Fucking Drew of Wallow? She, she laughs. She, she has funny laugh and she talks shit about men on TikTok. Oh, um, no, um, not. No. Yes, you do know her. Okay, I know her. And then guess who she had on her podcast? Chabal uh, Roan. Oh, she does. She looks different. You know, because she's not in drag. Oh, okay. The way I thought that Chapel Roan was contra points. Um. Yes. Yeah, so anyways, I'm gonna give everyone a taste of what of what this experience was like. I hope I can. I hope I can even come. I come. I hope I can come even close to, uh, you know, getting getting the vibes right. I won't, but you know. Are you ready? One day when we meet again. Yeah. 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 Okay. Especially because I have an effect on. <laughs> Sarah just smacked herself in the face with the headphones. I myself. It looked like it. I didn't. Okay. <clears throat> Bitch. Wait, say that again? Bitch. Nice. What? You don't have an effect on. I want an effect. What is it? What is it? What's the effect? It's just an. It's just. Do you hear me? Yeah, you're echoey, but it's not echoey for me. Yeah, why? I selected your. Why is it just happening to me? 
That's so cool, but how do I control it? Hello? No. I'm not echoey. I'm not echoey. Speak up. Hello? Wow, you're really not. That's so interesting. Hello? Yeah. Hello? Oh, so I hit select. We each have different... Oh! Oh! Do you have other kinds of voice effects? Not really voice effects. It's just like different like amounts of reverb. Oh. Yeah. So like you can do. It. Hello. Hello. Try oh. more singing type. Hey yeah. I wanna shoot. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Can we wrap this up? Wrap this up. Wrap this up. Wrap this up. Are, are you seriously are you asking, seriously me, asking that me that right now? You're the one that's <laughs> fucking, fucking asking, asking, me asking me to test the fucking sound effects for you. I'm sorry. I want. Maybe I want a sound effect. Maybe I want a sound effect for my. Maybe I want a. Maybe I want a sound effect for my. For my job. Maybe I want a sound effect for my job. Okay. Well, maybe we can do that. Maybe I can accommodate you. But. I'm the bit that I'm doing right now is the last bit of the show. Okay. And then you're okay. doing your job, and then the show's over. That's, that's, that's thank you for the update. Thank you. 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 Are you muting me? I'm not muting you. I'm. I'm not muting. I'm not muting. I'm not muting. I'm not muting. I'm just. I'm just muting the effect. Okay. One day when we meet again. Just trying to find the right effect for. My, my Devin, Devin Wells impression. impression. Right. One day, one day when we meet. Yeah, I think that'll be do. That'll do. Okay. That'll do, donkey. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. I'm so glad we learned that. What did we? How that works. Oh yeah. Emotional ambient cinematic music. In parentheses. Four videos. <laughs> this song is called Have Are you gonna mute me? This no, okay. I'm never gonna mute you, don't worry. <laughs> well, never say never. Never this say song, never. I'll fuck you forever. This song is about this song this song is called Heaven is Just Desserts and it's about missing your dead grandma. Thank you. Oh, my God. <laughs> One day when we meet again. More hand movements. It's hard. I'm not like <laughs> as autistic. I can't. I'm ADHD. I, I need to. I can't focus on all that. Like, cause I that just comes natural to him. I have to think about doing, and I'm trying to read. It's like, what the fuck? Are you recording me right now? I was gonna send it to Liz to, okay. oh, okay. so oh, yeah, she can get the good Devin yeah, impression. That's, that's good. That's good. And there can actually be a companion. We could, yeah, get it. <laughs> so I'm in my uh, Shh. I need to turn. The- Is the music up loud enough? <laughs> Shh, shh. I, I was doing what he did. Oh. Okay. This song is called Heaven is Just Desserts, and it. Shut up, please! This song is called Heaven is Just Desserts, and it's about missing your dead grandma. Thank you.
But if we could just dance Wait I think I'm playing the wrong instrumental Fuck Yeah, this is the wrong one This is for the second song Dumbass Fuck Okay. I'm still sending that to Liz because you can't even hear the music. It's, it's just in our ears. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't so matter. True. It doesn't matter. For okay, me. but you can still record and when and we can like sync up the audio for later. What? Just never mind. Okay. Okay. This song is called. This song is called Heaven Is Just. Can you mute me? Sorry. No, can I- <laughs> This song is called Heaven is Just Desserts and it's about missing your dead grandma. Thank you. <laughs> Shit. Was I on this one? Or this one? Um, one day. One. Okay. All, right, All right, here we go. Here we go. This song is called Heaven is Just Desserts, and it's about missing your dead grandma. Thank you. Thank Thank you. you. The song, the song is, is called, called Heaven, Heaven is Just Desserts, is just desserts and, it's and it's about, about missing your dead, dead grandma. grandma. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. 
Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. What? what? You accidentally started the laughing one first. <laughs> no. Put that one back. Hey. Oh, oh it, was it was funny? funny? Thank you. Why did Why you did look you at look me, me like, like disgusted? disgusted. Okay. okay. Anyways, Anyways, this, this next, next song, song is, is called, called Feet. Feet. Oh God. And it's, it's about, about stability. stability. <laughs> 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 Ma'am, are you okay? Ma'am, are you okay? Guys, this is not Travis Scott concert. We check on the audience. Are Ma'am, are you okay? Ma'am, are you okay? Yeah. Okay. We care about the audience here at the Dev <sighs> Show. God, yeah. You're just making so much work for yourself. <laughs> I love doing that. I'm a workhorse. This song is about feet. No. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> this next song is called Feet, and it's about stability. Thank you. That was real. Podcast. <laughs> We've been through hell together. We had people come at us. We've had death threats at us. People who fucking laugh at every time we fucking go through some bullshit. People make allegations on us. People have tried to absolutely fucking destroy us. You know who was around me the whole fucking time? These fucking guys. So you motherfuckers can say whatever the fuck you want to say. I'm not going anywhere. I'm gonna stand by the guys that stand by me. Cause you fucking pieces of shit are fucking there when I'm going through it. You pieces of shit are fucking there when I'm fucking figuring out what the fuck I'm gonna do because we got demonstrated. You motherfuckers weren't there when everyone in their fucking mom came at us. You motherfuckers weren't there when I got the false accusation against me. You motherfuckers weren't there when this bitch lied and said that I got a pregnant when I fucking did it. And then you dumbasses, three years later, you some bitch that makes the same fucking allegations again. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> wow. You are immensely talented. Thank you. Um, this next song. Oh, there's more. The Rule of Three, baby. This next song is called Father Outstretch My Ass. And it's about boyhood.
Shut the fuck up. Okay. Um, do your job. <laughs> Can I have a voice effect? <laughs> yeah. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. I love you. Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. Okay. Hold on. Wait, hold on. I'll turn mine off. All right, go for it. Hey, guys. Turn mine up. Wait, hold on. You turn. need to speak up is what you need I, to do. Okay, but also turn up my effect, please. I am speaking I am up and speaking I am up, very I am quiet. Am there we go. There we go. That's better. I am speaking better. up and I am very quiet. I am, I am speaking, I am up, speaking up, up and it's still and very it's still quiet. quiet. Okay. 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 Do your job, bitch. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Anyways, 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 subscribe, subscribe to, the to the Patreon if you want, if you to, want continue to continue following, continue following along, along with us, with us while, while we watch the Acolyte, as, well as, as, as well as other bonus content. It's getting sense. Yeah! Oh my god. <laughs> What? They won't be able to hear me speaking with all of that filter on. You're right. So, 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 subscribe to the Patreon. TVP. Wait, Patreon.com. Backslash. TVP. TVP. TVP pod TVP pod Patreon.com backslash TVP pod TVP pod TVP pod TVP pod T T is in tickle V is in vickle P is in pickle Uh uh P is in pickle O is in o wickle D is in dickle That's horrid that's horrid Shut that shit up Shut that shit up Wait, what if I... <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that this has been The Village People. Uh, potentially episode 50. Congratulations to us. Holy um, shit. So... Yeah, right now we're in Colorado. Uh, or No, I miscounted, actually. Colorado would not have been... Next week is not episode 50. Next week is episode 49. It's the 50th episode overall, but it's, the f- it's episode 49. Okay. I confused myself. Okay. So the week after we get back from uh, Cerrado will be episode 50, which means... So this, this, that, that could be this episode. Potentially, okay. So, it's it's a hot mess. It's a beautiful mistake. It's um, it's what makes you happy. I hope. Um, does this does this podcast bring you joy? Yes. Does this podcast make you happy? Yes. Well, then please rate podcast and subscribe podcast and review podcast. Or we'll send you to jail in <laughs> where you'll be forced to come on a horse. But don't worry. Treat him well, him well. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> yes. All right. It's the end of the show. Patreon.com. Oh yeah, did we mention that we're gonna we're going to be uh, finishing well we're continuing our acolyte series today. So catch that on patreon.com slash TV. Oh. Well once again, uh, look out for that. <laughs> Alright. We'll see you next time. But I need more than that golf dog nine thousand. I need that hawk to up, hawk a loogie on me. Make me say, oh, like a masterpiece. Baby, when I think of you, I start reminiscing.
TV. 